I uh, don't really want a ventricular lamps, uh, so we'll just sell a charge pack. Um, we now have Nika, so I've given her two weapons. I'm not going to spend money on upgrades for her because we want to get some good stuff from the nanofab. <laughs> uh, hey there, heck. Hey, good to see you. Um... Okay, let's try to have a smooth mission, and I need to remember that I'm using Rapier. <laughs> I do have Data Blast as well. We were having difficulty hacking last mission. Um, let's move with Rush first. Not heard so far. Peek. Uh, open door. There's a scanning amp. Uh, this is going to be cover if there's a camera here, but not if there's a camera here, so we take a full peek. Um, very good to find that first, but I think we use Oracle to start off with unless there's a, a bunch of devices um in here so we'll move decker next um it doesn't matter who gets these consoles because nobody has hacking upgrades i can get this console as well with rush um step 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 peak uh, there's the objective and there's oh because we have the world gen extended mod then we've got the extra one with the vault door but i didn't bring my pass card in um so we're not getting that. Uh, let's try opening this door. I think we know that there's no guards around here. There could have been a guard on that kind of tile, I guess. Hey there, Uncle Strange. Uh, good to see you. Um, this is continuing the always sprint challenge. Um, we'll try to get this early, I guess. So I could hit this with Data Blast. And probably can't hit anything else along with that. Maybe there's like a camera in this kind of corner. Um, if I move here, then I can't necessarily get out of the way... Um, but this is likely to be safe. We've got a locked door here. There won't be a guard on this tile because I think he'd have heard me from here. And um, so I actually learned something about the sprint noise radius uh, <laughs> um, since the previous episode. Um, uh, it's not done by AP. So uh, the, the way AP works is this would be three, four, five to here, and then this would be three four and a half five and a half so that would be out of a five tile radius but the sprinting noise radius is five tiles euclidean distance not done by one and a half as for diagonals um so because this is three across and four up three squared plus four squared is 25 the square root of that is five so this is actually five tiles euclidean distance therefore we know there's no guard on this tile um, we've got a door here. I guess Decker's going to be on ambush here with Neural Disruptor 2. We shouldn't have Armor 2 guards. There could be an Armor 3 guard if there's a barrier guard coming around here. In that case, I cloak. Um, and of course, because I'm on a hard corner here, then I can't move diagonally around it. Um, we're going to, therefore... I mean, I could use Oracle here and then spend 5 power on this with Rapier. Might actually be good for that... Um, yeah, let's use Oracle. So I see a room here. That's going to give AP to Decker, actually. Um, and once I hack these things, then that's going to be more AP. I do want this to go down. Uh, hey there, Superstorm. Uh, good to see you. And uh, Port Collar Steve, welcome. Um, I guess we could use Data Blast on this next turn, but I want to keep using Oracle with Seed. Um, so we're going to get some more AP from Decker. Don't fall asleep in the shower, that would be bad. Um, let's hack this now, I think. That can get Decker up to here in peak. Um, if this is heard, if this is heard, and then here I'm only going to have one AP, but I can hack this for more AP from net downlink. So I think it's just going to be better to have Decker on the corner and peeking to let me know if I need to um, to hack any barrier guard. And it looks like we don't see anything there. I am going to be on ambush, um, and if the barrier guard does come, then I can cloak, but I hope that doesn't happen. Actually, we, d we weren't heard around here, so that makes it much safer. And Nika could even sprint to this tile, but I don't want to do that because if there's a guy around here, then they could come through the door when they otherwise wouldn't. So maybe it's even correct not to move Nika right now or to move her here first. Um, we're going to take this. Get the valuable tech. Very good to find this early because it means we don't get scanned uh, ever in this mission. Uh, we take the console. 
that's another two power. So we've got two power from this one. I think this was two power as well. Uh, let's count. We used three on this. Um, so this one was probably one power then. Yeah, so th this was one power. This was two. Um, so the exit could actually be fairly near. This could be the exit on this room. Um, now let's be very careful with Nika. Um, I'm going to move her like this first, just so that if there is a guard somewhere here, then I'm as far away from them as possible. And I guess we'll move Nika up to the nano fab. Um, I could hack this now, but I think we'll do that next turn because the AP is probably going to be more useful on Decker next turn. Let's leave Nika right in front of this nano fab and we'll hack that next turn. Okay, I hope that Decker doesn't get seen here. So there's a guard here. That means that this guard's going to hear when Decker moves. He was on a straight line. Straight line patrol. Um... Okay, um, it might be good to move Decker last, actually. If Nika's going to be running to this door, then we could zap the guard, or we could just distract him later with Decker, because five and a half, eight, five AP from here is enough to get outside of his range, if that's safe to do so. But we open the door first, take a peek for cameras. There isn't a camera. I do have a console here. That's one power as well. So the exit should be fairly near. Normally the low power consoles are near the exits. Um, we're going to sprint here and let's get into the nanofab with Nika before we've hacked anything else that could reboot. I think if this reboots but you've already looted the valuable tech, then it doesn't scan you. I think that's correct. Uh, let's see what you have. None of these augments look particularly nice. Uh, cloak 3 is very good, of course. We've got a Cloak 2 as well. Um, we've got a few weapons here. We've got this one that encumbers you, making you not be able to sprint. <laughs> um, but of course you can drop it at the start of your turn. It means you can't sprint on the first turn unless you get AP from net downlink or something. Um, this could be quite good because of the armor piercing. 1200 credits is a lot though. Um, I think we prefer things like Cloak 3. I was hoping for some better augments than this. I mean, Titanium Rods isn't too bad on this because the guards are down for longer, but it doesn't really go well with Pheromone Filter that Rush has. We're using seed, so a portable server could be good, but you have to kind of leave it somewhere and then come back for it, which is not easy to do. Um, and if the guards find it, which they are more likely to when you're sprinting around everywhere, then they'll pick it up. Um, Paralyzer could be okay. Uh, Cloak could be okay. Can I get both of them? No, not yet, but I will be able to once I've looted some more stuff. I think we get a Cloak, give it to Rush. And we might come back for the Railgun or the Cloak 2 or the Paralyzer. I'm not sure about that. Again, Paralyzer also not a great combo with uh, Pheromone Filter, but it, it will be uh, good to take some guards out for longer at least. You don't want all of the guards alerted very soon. Um, I think that's all we get for now. I don't really want a Hologram Projector with this playstyle. Um... Yeah, th th this is probably bad for the encumberment, I think. Um, Vault Disruptor could be okay for Nika, but we're looking for armor piercing with her. Um, uh, if we get a Vault Disruptor, it should be like a Vault Disruptor 2 at least. I think we might not actually come back for any of this, but I'll try to remember that it's a Cloak 2 and a Paralyzer 3, and I, I'm, I'm not going to get this. So there goes this camera that Oracle already took. Um, have I just hacked this with seed? Did I waste my seed? I should have used Oracle with seed first. So that was a, a mistake.
I could have at least hit this stuff with Data Blast before using Rapier on this. Um, actually, no, this camera was mine before that happened anyway, so... Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. Uh, we're going to move Rush. Uh, she's going to get heard by this guy. Who has Anarchy? Um, it's Decker. So I can steal from this guy without knocking him out when on Decker's way past. We'll, we can get this console as well. It won't be that important because it's just one power, but happy, hacking with Rapier early is very good. Um, I'd like to hand over the cloak uh, to the agent who can use it. So he hears me through the wall, of course. Um, so we give that here, and I guess Nika's okay to carry this it's more likely that Rush will be stealing things. Actually, maybe it's more likely that Nika is stealing things because she has two weapons. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do it that way. Um, uh, Rush can move up to the corner. Nika can get to this corner. I think that should be okay. Uh, we'll see if anyone hears me to this corner. Did you hear that? Uh, we'll maintain vision on the room with her. Um, Decker's definitely going through this door. We've got an open door here, which means there must be a, a camera drone or a pulse drone. And we'll put both of these uh, agents on ambush. Um... Could there be a door here? Not sure about that. Um... Yeah, there is a door there, okay. Um, but there's no one on this file, so that's going to be okay. I do have ping if I need it. So I'm, I'm okay to get up to this door and uh, either get through, or get through and go on ambush, or ping this guy away, or take one more step with Nika and uh, zap him that way. Uh, you should be okay to step here, because no one sees me on this file. This is going to be cover... I think I'm okay to step here as well. This is now cover from anything that could be down there, so I get to take a peek here. There's the exit, always good to find early. Um, and if I hack something, then I'm going to get more AP for Decker, so I can get out of this guy's hearing range. So let's take this camera again, so that I don't accidentally hit it with Oracle next turn. And that gives me enough AP to get up to here. If I take the safe as well, then I can get up to the door and peek, and then ping him away. So yeah, let's just get hacking done while it's extremely cheap. I really hope... Well, we know there's no guard here because we'd have been heard. Um, one step at a time. I think it's right to peek here. And then we'll use ping to send this guy away. Or I could just zap him now. Um, that means no cheap hacking. That's probably okay. No, let's, ju let's just spend one power, because it's probably... That's probably fine. Um, we'll ping him to exactly here. I guess. I could ping him to here, but then he gets zapped. <laughs> um, this might actually be a better spot to ping him to. Um, just so I have the opportunity to distract him with Decker next turn after these two moves, so I'll, I'll put him here. And we're on ambush with both of these. Let's put Decker on ambush as well. And I don't... I can't do any more hacking here. Yeah, the one-tile sprinting animation is kind of goofy. Uh, there's the camera drone. So I need to hack him. <sighs> um, we're going to need more power to hack this drone. Because I don't want to use Rapier for zero. I mean, I could do like this... Um, let's move Decker first. I should be safe to open this door. I hope there's a console in here. There's doors further up. Um, actually, I shouldn't have stepped here. I want to distract this guard. But that means hacking the, the drone. Um, 
I, what I really need is some way of hacking multiple firewalls at once. Let's hit a camera. So we've got a guard up there. That's a elite security. Um, I'll find some other way of distracting this guy. Um, I think it's just going to be good to explore and hopefully find a console. We open this door because we can easily get into safety afterwards. There's a console to power. Yeah, so I was right that the exit was exactly here. Um, this is going to be two power, which is enough to hack the drones, so we definitely take this this turn. No demon on that safe, so I don't need to scan it with deck air. We're going to take the drone now. We go exploring. Uh, we know that there's two patrols into this room, but I'll get to explore with the drone next turn. Um, this guy's going to hear me up to uh, three, four, so he hears me on this tile. Um, I don't remember if that means he opens the door to peek. I think it does mean he opens the door to peek, so I'll probably want to end in cover. We didn't get a pass card from him. This guy's probably going to hear me around here as well. Um, this guy, if I go up to this door, then he's going to hear me. Uh, we definitely get through this door anyway. We're not wasting time with both agents like this. I'd like to know what his actual patrol is as well. So what is he going to be doing after we uh, finish with him? So he would actually be going up to here, but he's going to be going to this tile because he hears us on this tile. Um... I guess I could get to here and peek. And then go on to ambush for this guy. He probably doesn't... Um, where can Nika get to? 12 AP. Um, so Nika has the same uh, range as Rush has from this tile, because that's going to be 1-2 to get to here. So Nika can hide here. Rush can hide here. I think that's good. That might mean we take out two guards. Um, I could move to here instead of here. Don't remember if this guy comes through this door, actually. He could do like one, four, five, and then get into either of these corners. Anyway, let's move like this. So he hears me. He's like this. That means there must be some kind of cover item here, unless he's a different guard. But his ghost has just moved. So this must be the same guy who, guy who came here, which means he's patrolling around some cover item. So he's going to do three, four, seven, eight, and then be blocking the door, which I'm not that happy about. could use a stim to get into the room. There could be a camera in this corner, but getting into the room is also dangerous because of this guard. Hmm. I think we're just going to hide in this corner. This guy's going to be blocking the door. This guy's going to be blocking this door, and then we'll just wait it out for a turn. Let's close the door behind us. And I hope this isn't heard by a second guard here. We get to take a peek through this door at least. That's another nanofab. Um, Nika's going to get heard by this guard, I think. Let's go this way around. That's another... Is that this guy who's heard me to this tile? So that's actually good because it... It means he'll go further in, like here, rather than his. No, maybe I've, I've maybe maybe because I don't know this guy's patrol, um, and he will his AP only gets him to block the door anyways. But um, yeah, so this guy's heard me here, so I think we just have to both be on ambush, and let's use Decker's AP. Um, if that's gonna, if we're going to be zapping two guards soon, then I want to be hacking for one power per firewall. Um, but it's probably better for me to just peek through this door. Um, we're not that likely to have a patrol into here. We found a lot of guards. Let's count them. We've got one, two, three, four. So there should be a 
fifth guard here somewhere because this is a three guarded mission. Uh, this door. Take a full peek. Um, so there's nothing else in this room. We've got one tile of uh, unseen, but there can't be a guard here because he'd have heard me. Um, so I'm going to be on ambush here. Let's see what he's doing. Oh, he actually does come through the door here. So I've got my Neural Disruptor 2 ready for him. Maybe I should have observed him earlier <laughs> before moving Decker here, but I think it's okay to zap him. Um, so that's going to be one hit on the alarm level. Neither of these two guards will actually reach the point to get zapped, so I can save this power for next turn. So let's end the turn here. I mean, I could just uh, hack the nanofab with this one power now to move Decker where he doesn't. I think that's got to be good, right? We'll hack this, get the extra two AP, and leave Decker on this tile. And I'm not going to be on ambush in that case. I think that's better. Just to avoid the hit on the alarm level. Okay, uh, we might take a look in this nanofab as well. Um, we know where the exit is. We've done the objective. We've got the valuable tech. So at the moment, it's just about looting safes and stealing from guards. We've got one easy safe. This safe is probably going to be easy enough. If I can get a pass card, then there'll be safes in here probably that I can get to. Um, this could actually connect up round here. I'm not sure about that. Um, maybe this is... Because this is the World Gen Extended mod that puts the the objective room like this with the vault door. Maybe this is just like part of the prefab room, in which case there wouldn't necessarily be a connection round. I'm not sure. Um, but I think it's quite likely that this will connect round. Let's end the turn there. Yeah, so this guy's actually blocking the door now. I don't have Anarchy to steal from him. I don't think I want to, to move either Nika or Rush at this point. Um, we know that this guy's going to get zapped. We know that this guy's going to get zapped. This guy reached his interest points and then didn't open the door, which is actually quite good. I mean, the only way I can get past it right now is to... No camera in this corner is good. Um, right now would be to zap this guard and then use a cloak and zap this guard unless I wanted to just um, use... Yeah, yeah, I, I, I would have to use a cloak to zap this guard. Actually, Rush can't use this cloak. Why did I think she could? I thought I had speed four on her. Speed three, okay. So is it Decker with speed four? No, he also has speed three. So we're going to need a speed upgrade after this. I'll keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I think we're just not moving either of these guys. Um, if Nika had Anarchy, then we could try to get a pass card, but it's just too dangerous with all of the noise. So I think only Decker is moving this turn. Uh, we can loot... Uh, we can steal from this guard now, so let's do that. So we get a pass card, um, so could send deck around this way to open this door. Potentially worthwhile. Probably using Oracle here, but I'll save it in case I want Data Blast. I, I moved there um, to reveal this tile so that I could get the shortest routes. It, the way it was working was because this tile wasn't revealed and it was giving me a route the long way around that used more AP. Uh, that's the drone rescue mission. <sighs> With a demon. Let's use Oracle. So there's a camera and two safes, so I think we're definitely sending Decker down this way. Um, oh, one safe and a demon database, okay. So, so it's just the tall safe in here, unless there's a safe on this corner. Um, there probably is going to be more loot in here, though. At the moment, the difficulty in hacking is hacking high firewalls on one device. Like, early in the mission, if I have power, then I can use Rapier for one power per firewall, but... Later in the level, I've only got Oracle for capturing cameras and Rapier and Data Blast to hack one firewall at a time. 
So if I could get another breaker to replace Rapier, that might end up being good. Or we might end up replacing Data Blast before the final mission because it's not so useful in the final mission. Uh, do I want to do the drone rescue mission? It's probably too expensive, right? Because I'm going to have to hack the drone. That's three, six. Um... That's once, and then one, two, three, four and a half. I, ca I only have to hack the drone twice. So I might actually come back for this later. I, d I don't think you get that much money from the drone, right? You get like 300 or 500 or something. So I think getting into safes is more important. Like, th this safe has more money in it than I'm going to get from this drone mission anyway. And it's just easier to get into the safe. Because you don't have to keep hacking the drone and moving it. So I could hide, like, here let and then get past this guy on the next turn. I think that's just better to do... Um, that means I don't send Decker up to scan the demon, but if I do that, then I'll have to wait more turns to get past this guy anyway, so we'll sprint to there. Um, I think he does hear me on this tile, so I'm not going to move uh, anymore. And we're not moving these two, we're just leaving them both on ambush, so let's pass the turn there. And this is going to be the end of uh, Cheap Rapier. We've seen the fifth guard. He's patrolling in this room now. This is another good good uh, feature of Oracle is that by seeing rooms, and you, if you can count guards, then you can eliminate the possibility of there being guards in certain places. Um, I'm hoping this guard moves next. Yes. So perfect, because that means he doesn't see either of the guards get zapped. Um, what happened to the guard who was coming to get zapped here? Has he moved here? That's strange. I thought I was heard onto this tile. Um, I'm about to get heard anyway. Uh, let's observe what these two are doing. Nika clearly can't move here. Um, I'm going to get heard by these two anyway. Uh, did I forget to move this drone? I forgot to move the drone, didn't I? I could have explored this door. That does at least mean when this guy comes out, he's going to pin the drone on this tile, even if he hears me further. So that's probably good, actually. And I can get the power from it. Uh, we know where all five guards are because the fifth one is here. So I should be absolutely fine to get up to here except for the possibility of cameras. We've got no cameras uncaptured. So that's good. But there could be a camera coming online in this room at least. Um, let's move Decker because we know exactly what to do with him. Unless I'm getting this safe now. might be a console in this room there might be one in this room as well um i'm not sure whether to go this way first or this way decker can get through this door so i guess it's better to explore this way could get this safe now but we can get it on the way back exploring sooner is better why are they sprinting to this why are they why does their path say that they're going here that doesn't make sense like, there's absolutely no logical reason that they would both move to this tile after hearing me on this tile. <laughs> Maybe some weird pathing glitch because I'm blocking the door. I think they should both be coming through to here and pinning this drone. They're just a bit slow. <laughs> yeah, let's explore this room, see if I can find a console at least. We know there's no camera on this side, so I can safely open the door without peeking. Uh, there is a console, let's peek. Uh, we know there's no camera unless it's coming online, so I can just get this console now. And then get up to here, or even... Um, it's going to be hard to get into this nanofab. What I could do is data blast this stuff now. But I don't need these cameras if Decker, Decker is getting out. Um, I could get up to here, and that's going to be safe because this guy is further away from this kind of point so he won't hear me to this tile but that means skipping on the safe if I have an extra 6 AP that doesn't get me to here but 
but this guy's gonna hear me to uh, three, four. This tile is gonna be the last one he hears me on, so I can, I can get up to here and be okay, or even here is possible. So I think we're gonna use, I think we're probably gonna use Data Blast like this to take these, um, take these down um, and then spend three power using Data Blast, which is not the best, but. I think having the AP from net down like, and getting out of here faster should be good, and I can get to the safe and then just not return here. Then we spend expensive power hacking three things. That's plus six AP to Decker. Um, Did you hear that? So we close the door. 170 is good. We're going to be heard onto this tile, but not this one. So he'll be going up to here and facing diagonally, and then I should be completely fine on either of these tiles is okay, right? No, if he if he's not facing diagonally, then he'll look at this door, but I think he should face diagonally, so I'll just go up to here. That's got to be fine. I don't think we're going to be able to get into this nanofab. So I could just stim and go through here. That's probably good. They should stop on the drone, but if they peek on this tile, then they could see me here or here. So I think I want to stim here to get past them now. Did you hear that? And we know there's no active cameras, and we know there's no guard in here, so it's fine for me to open this door. But I will need to get into cover if there's a camera coming online. There isn't, so that's actually good. So I can get this console for four power next turn. I can't quite observe this guy's movement, but it looks like there's no door here. I guess we'll save this power for something else, maybe ping. Don't think it's worth taking down a firewall now. We'll still be able to take them down for two power next turn. Uh, we'll go on to ambush here. How am I heard here? This guy heard me. Right. Um, so that's fine. Um, guess he'll be stopped stopping on the drone anyway. Uh, let's end the turn there. Okay, we're investigating. I need to not. check that Rush has armor piercing. Oh, she does because she can sprint. That's her bonus anyway. So I can actually take this guy out if necessary. Yeah, so this guy is facing diagonally, so I'm fine to get Decker out here. I don't think I'm hurt by either of these guards, um, but I probably want to use Nika to check. Or maybe Nika just comes around here with Decker as well. So we'll move Nika after Rush because I think um, these guys are going to hear Rush. No, they don't actually. Um, this guy is going to be here. I don't know if he's looking at this door or not. Let's go this way. Let's go this way around um, so that they're less likely to hear me. Um, we definitely open this door. That's another safe. So Data Blast could be good around here. I can Oracle here. I think there's only going to be one more camera. And it should actually be in this room because we haven't seen any more rooms that could have cameras in. So in that case, I might just be better off Data Blasting to hack the camera. There could actually be two cameras in here. I think there should only be one because we've seen two cameras come online and there's normally three. Um, I zap this guard. Kind of just want to know where he is so I can plan the rest of my movement. Uh, he must be exactly on this tile. So he's going to hear me if I move any further in. And we've got another door here. So actually there could be a camera in here and I don't need to hack it in that case. How many safes have we found? Three, four five so that's going to be all of them uh there could be a shop cat in here uh the other guard entrance has to be here as well because we haven't found two of them i could zap this guard to steal from him that means decker doesn't have to get here but i think we're going to open this door with decker anyway 
because that gives Rush a faster way out. Um, we ha we've stolen from one of these two. Once I start hacking things here, then Decker is going to get more AP. I guess we take the camera. That's going to tell me if there's a shop cat that I want. On the other hand, I could just move up to here and peek, and then move here to be on ambush for this guard. I think that's fine. We'll, we'll just do it like this. Um, I'll move up to here. I can afford to peek first and then open the door, but we know that there's no guard there anyway. So this looks like it's just going to be an empty room with no shop cats. There's a camera there, so I don't need to hack this camera, therefore we don't use Oracle. Uh, we do use Data Blast here. And I, I'm willing to take the demons, but I guess we do it for free next turn. So let's go on to ambush here to get this guard. Uh, we know this Oracle is going to hit this. There could be a camera there, but I think not. Because there should be three that came online and we knew that there weren't any more of them those earlier. Um, I think the question is just, do I hack something now to get more AP for Decker? I'm probably going to be able to get into this nanofab, right? As long as I can actually get there and out. We might end up doing the drone instead of the nanofab. Um... So if I hack things, then Decker can get through this door, which is good because Nika's going to be heard into this room. Um, uses three power, which is potentially not good because I have no more power for the rest of the mission other than the six that I have. Let's... I'm definitely moving Decker to here. That doesn't let me peek here because this door is closed, unfortunately. Um, I guess we use Nika to observe. So he's going up to there. He's not going to see Decker like this. Um, I think I'm actually okay to leave Decker here then. So he's just going to walk straight past. This guy we know doesn't patrol into the room, so as long as he doesn't hear anything more, then he'll go back on his patrol round here. So Nika's just pinning this guard for now. This guy gets sapped. We're not going to spend the power to do any hacking because we can use Data Blast next turn, and I hope these demons are benign. Yeah, so that guy goes back on his patrol. This guy gets sapped. Drone wakes up. This drone is actually looking into the room, but Nika can close the door to get out. We're doing this. Three demons. Um, I don't actually need the demon database in this case. And it might be better for me not to hack the camera right now. Because then I can hack it later and get the net downlink. Because I'm going to be hacking these three things. So let's do it like this. That means two demons. I hope it isn't double labyrinth. Uh, let's start sprinting here. We get a pass card with Rush, which I guess we don't need because Decker can open this door. Maybe I want to move Decker down here to steal from this guard now. That would mean hacking the drone. If I do this, then use two power, then we can get up to this guy, steal and zap. That's more alarm level hits that aren't really necessary though. How far can Nika get if we close this door? Nine and a half is going to probably get me out of this room, out of this door right. So I think that's okay. 
We'll try to steal this from this guy on the other end of his patrol, but I think that's up here. I can get through this door. Actually, what I could do here is take this pass card and open this door for Nika. That seems good. Yeah, let's take the pass card. Um, we'll take one demon now. So if I do this, then we're hacking three things, and then I'll get into the other safe later. I hope this is not Paradox. Felix, actually, that's good. <laughs> because I can get more money out of these safes. Um... Then we'll drop this pass card so that we're not encumbered. Actually, Nika can just take the pass card, right? That seems good. And actually, Nika can get through this door right now. Um, yeah, so we'll... Th this guy's out for three more turns. That's going to be fine. Close the door. The drone's going to come through and scan, but that's fine. I should be okay to sprint up to this door and get through, except for the fact that this guy's coming. That means Nika can ambush and steal, so that probably actually works out well, because th this guy's other patrol point is here. Ah, need to use the other uh, neural disruptor. So we'll go back to pin this guard and get this safe next turn. Do I actually need to move Decker? This guy's not going to see Decker. Oh, because I've given the pass card here, so I do actually want to open this door with Decker. That's right. So he's going to hear me through the door, um, but not far enough for it to really matter. This is a Shock Trap 3, but we're not taking him out. Um, so where do I want him to hear me? One, two, three, four. So I can get him onto this tile or this tile, but either way he's going to be facing this direction. I could do this so he's going to be facing diagonally. That's not that helpful, but I think it is better. So then I step like here so that this isn't heard by him, and then he'll come this way and face diagonally here, so that's that's good. And then if I hide here, that's far enough away that he shouldn't see me when he does his peek. But I think it's just better to hide around here. And because he'll be facing diagonally, he'll have noticed tiles next turn. Uh, we might as well go on to ambush here as well. Um, if I'm going to use this power, it's probably going to be on Rapier, right? Or Ping. So I can hit this next turn for free once. But it's going to be Alarm Level 2 if I zap this guard. So I should use this for 2 power while I can. Um, we get into the safe before the Nanofab. Actually, maybe we should get into the nanofab before the safe because this has a demon. And we've got 1900 credits. So I think we're going to do this now. Then hack this stuff later. And we are on ambush here. Uh, this guy is going to go around and get zapped by Nika. I think that's fine, because it means we get to steal without moving Decker all the way there. I'm going to need to have to get back past this drone, but that probably is going to be possible. Uh, we'll end the turn there. Investigate. 
Yeah, so he's facing diagonally like this. Oh, the firewalls go up. I forgot about that. Um, so I actually should have hacked this last turn. That was a mistake. Yeah, I should have spent the power to hack that. I can at least hit both of these like this. I need to know what this guy is going to do. What the, what the drone is going to do. Um, so let's peek and observe. He's going out there. That's fine. Just means we won't leave Decker in here. Nobody should hear this because he's far enough away. So I'll get into this next turn. I want to do my hacking for free to save power for ping in an emergency or that kind of thing. Um, we'll drag this guard. Oracle says there's no camera in this corner, so that's going to be fine. I think we knew that there couldn't be a camera there anyway, but it's worth double checking. Actually, I could have moved Decker up to this, right? So I've just blocked Decker from checking what this demon is. I guess we're going to do that anyway. Let's distract this guy a bit further in. I guess there's no no reason to do that. Yeah, we'll just move Decker this way to scan the demons next turn. We're not hacking these next turn. We'll hack the Nanofab. Yeah, that was a, a, I should have spent the power to hack this earlier, I think. Has anyone not looted? We've got this guy, we've got this guy, we've got this guy, we've got this guy, and we've also got this guy, so that should be all five of them. It's going to take three turns to hack this unless I spend power. That's going to be okay because it'll still be under alarm level three and then we get out. So I think this is okay and I just won't bother with the drone rescue. I could bother with the drone rescue. <laughs> I only have to hack it twice. Um, it depends how many firewalls the drone has, right? If it's too many, then it's just not worth it. I think we we won't bother with that because it's got three firewalls on the terminal and then the drone's going to have like two or three firewalls as well. I guess three. Uh, let's get into this nanofab. Titanium rods, uh, no. Stim three could be okay. Recovers the attack is also important. Um, we need to upgrade speed on at least one agent to use the cloak, though, and I guess the same agent will use this. We've got a big safe to get into, so we're probably taking about 1,400 or 1,500 credits out of this mission if I buy Stim 3. That does mean no cloak 2, but I think that's okay. So we just won't go back for the other nanofab. I think Stim 3 is better than the other options we had there. So I'll drop this pass card because we've opened all of the locked doors. Uh, we think we do buy a Stim 3. And then with 1500 credits, we should be able to upgrade to speed 4 on 2 agents. Hold on, is it 1000 for... Is it 1,000 or 700? I think it's 700 for speed 4, right? 1,000 is for max speed. So yeah, we can upgrade to... Uh, once we've got the big safe, we should be able to upgrade two agents to speed 4. Yeah, the safe will have fewer firewalls next turn as well. That's a good point. Um, let's keep this guy pinned. Um, this guy is over there, so he won't hear me to hear, but we don't know where the camera drone is. I guess I'm gonna... He's come through here. Okay, um, so he hears me to this tile. He'll be facing this way. Um, this is three. So he hears me on this tile, so if I step here, then he doesn't hear me. 
So if I do it like this and then go back to pin the guard, then that's fine. I can get past him next turn. Uh, let's move this uh, guard somewhere else. Scan the demon with Decker. I hope it's not Validate. It's Watchdog. That's actually fine. Uh, we zapped the guards that we want to zap. I guess I could have checked this while I was here. Because if it's something benign, then I can hack it for net downlink. Um, we're going to be using Data Blast on this anyway, so yeah, let's check this demon. Rubik's. Yeah, we can take that for net downlink. We're, we're not going to be hacking this up there, so... Um... <laughs> we can get this next turn, actually, because I can use seed once and then spend power to hack. And that gets us out a little bit faster, so I think that's good. So we'll drag this guy to here, keep him pinned. Uh, no need to close that door just yet. Um, and then we'll just try to get out next turn. I didn't see where the camera drone is. So I'll end my turn peeking like this so that I get the, some vision through this door, but I hope the camera drone doesn't mess this up. So he's woken up now. That gives me pheromone filter AP, which is good. Um, so I can hack this. Oh, it's only got one firewall. It was on three, but... It, oh, because of Rubix, right? So it was on two and doubled to four or something. Or no, Felix tripled it from one to three. That's why. Okay. Um, so I don't even have to spend power on this. We're just going to take the watchdog. And um, question is, do I want to zap someone before I do that? Because I could zap this guard again. Let's see what the drone is doing. Don't see the drone. There it is. I think we want to observe its movements. It's going out there, that's gonna be fine. So I guess I'm just gonna go out here and zap this guy on ambush. Because this guy won't hear me all the way through the door. Regular Neural Disruptor equipped. Uh, we don't need to use the armor piercing. This guy shouldn't hear me. Oh, he actually hears me to the door. I guess he is actually going to hear me. Yeah, he actually does hear me to this tile, doesn't he? That's actually quite bad. So I'm going to zap one and then the other it runs through and sees me. Unless I do a distraction with Rush over here. I could distract this guard with Rush afterwards. Yeah, so this guy's heard me to this tile, so I'm going to be on ambush for him, and then we use Rush to distract this guy. Um, that means we are going to be zapping after Watchdog applies, but I think that's okay. And I could just move Rush up to zap now. Then she does have sufficient strength to... I think if I zap this guy on this tile, then I can drag him into cover here. What about Decker? Um, I'm going to have extra AP from net downlink, but not enough. Um... So I guess we just put Rush here on ambush. We'll ambush this guard as well. Um, hey, 
I don't even need to be on ambush if he just comes down here, right? Um, if this is the only tile he hears me to, then I don't need to zap him again. I don't know if he opens this door. Um, let's take the watchdog now. loot the safe. Um, yes, we will take a charge pack rather than a security pass card. And then I can move this guy out of the way. This drone's interest point is down there, so it won't do a scan yet, but I'm behind the hard wall anyway. We can just hack this drone next turn, spend the power for it. Why is there a high security door, asks Storm. There's a vault door here because World Gen Extended, which is a mod, adds new prefab rooms for the objectives, and some of them, like uh, four nanofabs, uh, have vault doors with additional nanofabs behind them. I think we should be fine up to here. That way, we, even if this guy opens the door and peeks, he doesn't see us for sure. Um, this guy is going to get zapped again but we won't be on alarm level three even so we're just going for the exit now and i could ping this guy away if i wanted to as well we're getting the extra ap from nika is fine i think um yeah we're just heading straight for the exit and we'll hack this drone next turn and then save ping for a, a proper emergency Oh, hey there, JC, again, by the way. I didn't notice in the chat you've returned. Um, yeah, so Nika can easily get to the exit here. Um, this guy's only out for one turn because of Watchdog. We're hacking this drone, so I should hit it with Data Blast like this to save the AP from peaking. And then... I can't quite hit the drone and the Rubik's at the same time, but that's fine. It just means one less AP from net downlink. Sorry, two less AP from net downlink. Um, there is no level two pass card. That's just that you bring a vault access card for it. Um, so let's move the drone away. Actually, I can send the drone through this door to see if this door is open. Yeah, it is. Okay. And we also know where the... So we've got a downed guard here, a, da a guard here, a downed guard here, a downed guard here, and the fifth guard is here. So no one is even going to hear us uh, near the exit room. Um, let's keep this guy pinned for just a little bit longer because we can. This guy's out for three turns, so that's fine. just not worth doing this i think it's going to take so long um being at high alarm levels is very bad if you always have to sprint so we're just going to go out now so we've got the valuable tech we've got what we came for and we got all of the safes and we stole from every guard so it's a hundred percent again Um, yeah, it is 700 to upgrade to speed 4. That means no speed upgrade for Nika, unfortunately. We can sell this charge pack. Yeah, except for the refit drone, yeah. Um, so we're going to do this. I could just give Decker both the 
Oh, sorry, Decker's the is it's better to have a cloak, I think. So we'll we'll give Decker the cloak. Uh, three. Um. I could give Nika a speed upgrade here. That's probably better than another speed upgrade for Rush, at least in the immediate future. Uh, we need to give him the stim as well. <laughs> Bad memories never again. That one AP from the... Uh, if the refit drone was one tile closer in, then we could have got it. <laughs> um... I think giving Rush this cloak is fine. Um, the last mission we're going to do is a cyber lab so we can use the Vault Access card, or at least so we have a good chance of being able to use the Vault Access card. I guess we sell the charge pack, unless I find a ranged weapon. Then I might choose not to. Um, yeah, let, let's just sell this. Um, yeah, I think speed on Nika is going to be good. And we have no spare inventory slots for our agent with anarchy. I guess I didn't quite max it out because I didn't use Decker to steal from every guard, but that's fine. I'll have to remember that Decker has more anarchy than the other... Um, who, well, they have no anarchy, basically. <laughs> so probably going to have to do a cyber lab here, because there's no vault to use the access card for. I could sell this and then upgrade strength on Decker, but I think that's bad. Detention center. Yeah, there is a detention center, but it's Sankaku. We're not doing it. So what augments are we hoping? We've got no spare augment socket on either of these two agents. We've got one on Nika. If I find net downlink for someone, that would be really good. Torque injectors is usually good. Um, something for extra armor piercing could be good as well. So I think we're going to do the Cyber Lab. Uh, that's a Sankaku one, so we definitely do the KNO one. Um, 